Welcome back. Well, the SJX Nifty suggesting a down day. A 160 point down tick is what we'll be bracing for. So, in Nifty terms, we'll be starting. If we get a 160 point down tick, it'll be at around 17,920 odd. 17,900, my guess is that should be a crucial level that the bulls will be tracking in today's expiry as well. So, things will get a little bit volatile in the second half uh, of trade. Well, Nishal Maheshwari, uh, CEO, Institutional Equities and Advisory at Centrum Broking, Johnson. Hi, Nishal. Morning. Uh, well, uh, you know, before we get to discussing about some results, I want to ask you about the biggest loser yesterday, Bharati Airtel. It was down close on 3%. 12 months or so ago, there was a consensus buy on the stock. Now, suddenly, a couple of brokerages sounding a little bit cautious. I think there's a Deutsche Bank report that came out yesterday. There's uh, a Jeffrey's note as well that sounded a little bit cautious. Your view on it? Uh, morning, Nigel. Uh, I think uh, more to do with profit-taking. I don't see that there is any reason for uh, being cautious at this point of time, uh, even though we do not cover it at the moment. But uh, I continue to believe, basically, that there is a likely uh, tariff increase which is going to happen anywhere in December or January. And uh, maybe some amount of profit-taking, given that we have now got some aggressive valuations. That's the only, only reason I see for taking away some profits. But otherwise, uh, I would be a buyer on the stock. Profit taking in Bharti Airtel I would continue to be a buyer in the stock. Nishal, good morning. Uh, this morning, Motilal Oswal put out a very interesting note where they've raised the EPS uh, targets for the Nifty for the full year. And they talk about how four stocks, Axis Bank, Sun Pharma, HCL Tech and ICICI Bank, uh, strong results over there, the reasons for the upgrade. Uh, among these four names, do you like any where one can put some fresh money to work? Uh, morning, Sonia. I think uh, out of the four, uh, definitely I would put some money on uh, uh, Sun Pharma and HCL Tech. Uh, Sun Pharma, obviously, the results were outstanding in HCL Tech because of uh, valuation. Uh, maybe something uh, on ICICI also. So these, I think, uh, but the I would prefer the first two actually, Sun Pharma and uh, HCL Tech. And I would wait for some correction in the banking sector and then maybe go again uh, investing into the bank. Right. You know, uh, one of the other things uh, what, uh, which has happened, uh, I think, yesterday evening was that uh, this entire China reopening thing, I mean, that has been uh, completely quelled. So we heard from an official spokesperson that there is no uh, change being planned in the COVID strategy, COVID management strategy. It may happen, but it's not happening right now. Uh, that's the point. Metals essentially have been doing very well last two days. A uh, day before yesterday was a pretty large day for the metal index. Yesterday also, uh, you know, they did well. Uh, any thoughts, uh, Nishal, on that space on the back of what we've heard? Um, so, morning, Prashant. I think uh, metals its past its peak, basically. That is very, very clear. And uh, given that we are... Uh, uh, though, uh, uh, after this 75 basis point hike again yesterday, uh, there is a very clear uh, uh, chance of a recession in the U.S. of maybe a couple of quarters. And definitely if a recession happens in the U.S. and uh, other developed market, uh, 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 exports from the emerging markets are going to get hit. So my view remains to be basically if there is slowing down of economies across the world, I don't see any chance of metals doing well. So I think uh, uh, as a sector, I think uh, if one has exposure, they should be cutting it basically. And uh, it's it's best avoided at this moment. All right, Anishal, what about ITC? Beautiful set of numbers, you know, from uh, extremely attractive valuations. Now it's trading pretty much uh, par for the course. Uh, added on 355, everyone's waiting for the Nifty to go to a fresh high. ITC, well, it's already at a fresh 52-week high and up more than 60% in this year. What do you do with the stock? So, we continue to remain a buyer, Nigel, there, basically. We have been a buyer from around 160, 170. And we continue to believe, basically, that uh, the discount was unwarranted for ITC. So, people are talking about ESG and uh, they had come out with a score, basically, saying that they are one of the best companies as well as ESG is concerned. And thereafter, basically, we look at it on cash flows, I think. A lot of that is floated around, basically, that cumulated cash flows for the next three large FMCG companies, ITC, had a better cash flows than uh, the cumulatively for the next three companies. So I think those were the uh, uh, points which we had uh, when we had put out a very strong bar on ITC. We continue to believe, basically, that the discount at this point also is unwarranted. And uh, if they are able to uh, do some, uh, maybe a hotel 
uh, a sell off or maybe a, a separating and getting it listed i think that's another trigger so if one is holding itc should be holding in and uh, maybe keep on looking for fresh buy buying opportunities <laughs> okay ITC, right? It was a huge meme fest after which ITC decided to prove everyone wrong. Uh, got that. Okay, uh, you know, uh, from the auto sales trends that we got yesterday, at, at least for the month of October, there were some standout performers, Nishchal. There was m and that hit record sales in tractors. There was spectacular sales from iCube for TVS Motor. Tata Motors continues to do well in electric vehicles. What's your pick of the pack now? So I think uh, CVs uh, continue to be the uh, one basic which we are preferring. Uh, we had like two wheelers earlier basically uh, that didn't turn out as well as we had expected. Uh, but CV definitely on the back of strong uh, economic performance basically I think that's a sector basically we are betting upon. Obviously the pent up demand on the four wheeler side is seeing up and we've seen our Maruti doing pretty well. So our pecking order is CVs, uh, cars, and then two-wheelers. Okay, all right. Uh, CVs, cars, and then two-wheelers. Got that. Well, it's been uh, very strong even for the commercial vehicle space, specifically for names like uh, Tata, uh, Ashok Leyland and Tata Motors. We'll come back and track some more stocks. We have uh, a new IPO as well today. Uh, so more on that in a bit. But before we do that, let's listen in to what the former RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan had to say.